group, I was sort of coined as the nice one, because I'm Asian. <laughs> but off stage, I was becoming kind of a superficial little biatch. So luckily I had my diary to express my obnoxious side. And at the time, I also thought I was black. <laughs> so I'm gonna read my diary as a girl I thought I was. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, dear diary. <laughs> Went to school today. Took those damn ERB tests. She <laughs> Henton told Brett that I liked him, and he said there's a strong possibility. Uh, also, Ramsey called me a cranker since I crank called him yesterday. My men are so fine. <laughs> I wish I could just be a normal kid sometimes. All the guys look at me, don't mean to be vain. <laughs> I get a kick out of it. <laughs> at the studio, Tamika kept braiding my hair. We left the studio at eight and went to the gallery for our outfits for tomorrow. Mine was the cutest. <laughs> tomorrow, we're going to some kind of radio record convention. The boys might be there and other famous artists. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. So, Marissa's three wishes. One, help me to always get along with my family. Two, to sing better than everyone in Pretty in Pink. Three, 41 Mo wishes. It's, it did say Mo. One, get rid of my cellulite. Two, longer legs. Three, bigger chest, no zits, longer nails, no hair on legs, no chicken pox scars, no stretch marks, no underarm hair, eyes naturally hazel, pretty and pink, mega famous, whole body toned. No more gangs, no more war, no more illegal aliens. Ways. More money for my family. No homeless, no pollution. Wish I could fly when I wanted. I'm such an asshole. Alright, so one of my wishes came true. The band started to really take off. Um, we even made our first like big budget music video for our debut single called All About Me. And um, you will see that it was clearly not all about me because I'm barely in the video. So now we're gonna play a little game called Where the Fuck is Marissa? This is dedication to my ex-boyfriend who doesn't know he's my ex yet. What, so you're gonna dump the poor guy right on the air? Yes, and I wanna dedicate All About You by Pretty in Pink to Michael Jones because he's testing my love for the last time. Well, this Pretty in Pink new single is just what it says, All About You. <laughs> Blonde girl was Fergie. Like, what? <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Um, so, you know, with a music video under my belt, my attitude just basically got worse. And uh, you'll hear it. Um, Dear Diary, right now it's about 10 10 p.m. I'm sitting in my room depressed. Doris, the hoe, is having a birthday party right now. The guys from RC Crew, including Aaron, were invited. She's such a bitch to me, so I won't fuck with her. <laughs> the first time she met me, she was so sweet and shit. Now that she knows I'm close to RC Crew, she wants all the guys to be hers. Well, shit, she can have them for all I care, including Aaron, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Fuck, the group is pissing me off too. Motown keeps delaying our release date. I guess I'll just go with the flow. Taj is over at Michael Jackson's house for a week. Cool, huh? <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> when are the plumbers coming back? Our backyard is taking forever. At least I get to see the plumbers. Hot bodies, man. <laughs> I can't wait for school to start up again. Hopefully some good-looking guys come around if I don't hook up with Aaron first. I love his hugs. Shit, he is rad. <laughs> Better go now. I'm gonna ride my life cycle now. Bye. <laughs> P.S. Jammed my finger in the gate today. Hurt like a mother. <laughs> uh, today, Aaron invited me to his eighth grade graduation party. Shay came with me. We danced and everyone watched us because we were breaking off our routines and shit. Before we went to the party, Mom warned me that Aaron was probably going to show off with other girls, but his plan did not work. He looked like an arrogant idiot, his hair was stupid, and his jeans were too tight, like, gay. <laughs> I didn't think anyone would know me at the party, but they did. Or at least they, like, knew of me. <laughs> so whatever, Aaron. Hey, Dai Dai. <laughs> Well, on Tuesday, the girls from Pretty and Pink and I went to get our nails and hair done for the album shoot on Wednesday. And we had the biggest high because we looked so good. Our makeup and hair was all done and our outfits were too fly. <laughs> Many compliments, etc. <laughs> anyway, that day was so fun and we realized that Pretty and Pink was gonna go far. So um, after a year of recording and doing promo touring, Shaka Khan like jumped through some hoops and she pulled some strings and she got us on like the best show ever. And um, it was kind of weird the way we were built, but we didn't care because it was like the show to be on. So. <laughs> of stardom and I thought you know finally I have what I've always wanted but then the band broke up because somebody's daughter had to go and get pregnant <laughs> yes <laughs> and um, some scary stuff happened to me as well um, I was diagnosed with a, a chronic illness called lupus yeah, so you know, everything changed really fast, and, and, and it was really scary. But um, in retrospect, uh, it did have a positive effect on my life. Um, so slowly, ever so slowly, I began to realize that you know being a somebody wasn't as important as I thought it would be. So I returned to school as a different